today on MTG Unpacked, a video sponsored by Mystery Magic Crates, better known as Mystery MTG. So today we'll be taking a look at their monthly mystery packs. So they sent me the 9 pack option, along with the Commander's Fury Crate. So we'll take a look here just briefly on MysteryMTG.com. We can see there's a bunch of spicy stuff here they have included. Uh, so you can see there's a list that's supposedly giving you at least one extra spicy pack. So looking through the list, Double Masters 2022 would be awesome. But there's also a whole bunch of other cool stuff here. Alright, looking forward to that. And also the Commander's Fury Crate. This looks pretty insane. So you can get an EDH Precon, Secret Lairs, Commander Collections, Boost Packs, Singles, and so forth. Alright, so if you want to check out more info about all of that, MysteryMTG.com. Looks like they got a bunch of good reviews. So without further ado, let's take a look at what they sent me. So we've got this big USPS thing loaded up with stop tape. So I'm assuming that means I have to open everything straight from the box. So I'm happy to oblige. And we have actually reviewed stuff from them previously. They sent me, I think it was the six uh, pack option. So. That was pretty cool, got some nice hits out of that. Alright, so lots of padding here, well packaged. Okay, so this... This looks like the Commander's Fury, okay. And anything else? Yes, in the bottom here, we have the... I'm guessing this is the 9-pack option. And packing peanuts everywhere. I'll just have a quick squeeze. Okay, so that's everything. So let's get started. We've got the Commander's Fury Crate with an awesome Commander deck here. So let's peel this off here. Uh, one thing, I do like to collect the boxes as well. So that's a little, little strike against them. These uh, sticky things are a bit too sticky, but... If you're just planning to rip into the box, then it's not an issue. So, Call the Spirits. I'm not actually sure... When's this one from? 2015. Okay. So, if we have not previously reviewed this on the channel, I'll actually do an unboxing of this. But apparently going for 110 bucks currently. So, this uh, Commander's Fury, I think current rate is 120 US. Also got three pretty spicy packs, so let's get into those, and we'll go through the nine pack thing shortly. Alright, so Conspiracy, what is this? The original Conspiracy, okay. So, starting off, we have Silver Chase Fox, Ether Trade Winds, Pillarfield Ox, Brimstone Volley, Flowstone Blade, Howling Wolf, Necromantic Thirst, Scaled Worm, Hunger of the Howpack, Respite, and Uncommon's Heckling Fiends, Bite of the Black Rose, Rito Lantern, and Bassandra Battle Seraph. Okay, so pop that up there. Lurking Automaton. Okay, Artifact Creature Construct. And of course, a Squirrel Token to finish. Modern Masters 2017, this was actually the set that got me started on Magic. The very first booster box I bought before I did anything else. And then I had to visit the local game store and I think I picked up like some Armand Ket and so forth. So we have Sir Lesnia Guildgate, Ether Toe, Burning Tree Emissary, nice, Magma Jet, Seal of Primordium, Mortician Beetle, Spell Pierce, Mog Flunky's Graceful Reprieve Mystical Teachings. I think that's pretty decent as well. Mist Meadow Witch for the Uncommons. Golgari Signet Lingering Souls. And Gifts Ungiven. Another decent pull there. Foil Rubble Belt Marker. 
And a goblin warrior. That's what we like to see. I don't actually have that token. So he will be going straight into the goblin collection. All right, Modern Horizons 2. So this is just a draft booster. We normally crack these set boosters on the channel. But you know what? We could still pull a Ragavan. Okay, starting off with Battle Plan. So shiny, Unbounded Potential, Chatterstorm, Kitchen Imp, Slagwood's Bridge, Sojourner's Companion, Aeromiba, Crack Open, Tormod's Crypt Keeper, and Uncommon's Blessed Respite, Dragon's Rage, Chandler, another tasty pull, Sudden Edict, Yavamaya Elder, and Inevitable Betrayal, yeah, a bit like this pack actually. And a Phyrexian Germ, and I think those might still be over a butt. Okay, so the Commander's Fury Crate, I'm calling that a good deal. So they do try to randomize stuff. Uh, I guess, like I said, my only criticism, uh, maybe they could have used some um, painter's tape, like masking tape instead, to secure that stuff to the box. But... Yeah, most people won't care, you'll just be ripping into the Commander deck. So I will be uh, doing a review of that at some point. If we have not already covered it on the channel, I'll have to check the archives. So what do we got here? Shadows over Innistrad, BFC, Eldritch Moon, Modern Horizons, okay. Unstable, Ixalan, Conspiracy Take the Crown. Everson Restored and Masters 25. So I'm assuming these three here are the extra spicy. So we'll leave those last and get to cracking through the rest. Conspiracy, take the crown. And have you picked up anything from Mystery MTG in the past? What do you think? Got any crazy pulls? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, we've got Absorb, Viz, Traumatic Visions, Hurly Burly. Driver of the Dead, Raise the Alarm, Leovold's Operative, Custody Peacekeeper, Prey Upon, Opaline Unicorn, Sinuous Vermin, Mausoleum Turnkey for the Uncommons, Palace Jailer, there's another nice pull, Sulphurous Blast, and Pariah. Okay, that's the rare Adriana's Valor for the Conspiracy. And a very tasty looking Monarch card. Alright, on to some Ixalan. So Ixalan, I'm guessing, I would say is probably the weakest set here. But there are still some nice pulls you can get out of it. We've got Skullduggery, Ryle, Bishop Soldier, Ixali's Keeper, Shorekeeper, Pounce, Spell Pierce, Ritual of Rejuvenation, Windstrider, Fire Cannon Blast, Steadfast Armsaw for the Uncommons, Favorable Winds, Bonded Horncrest, and a Mythic Admiral Beckett Brass for the win. I think it's a low end Mythic at this point. Could be wrong though. And a Mountain and Treasure Token. Okay, Unstable, don't let us down. And we've got, uh, what is it, Unfinity coming up later this year so looking forward to that although I will say I think the black border deal and the stickers are the wrong move but let me know what you think about that in the comments we have Chiv chivalrous chevalier or chevalier multi-headed creature hydra timeout subcontract bumbling pangolin steady-handed mook secret base Gnome Maid Engine, Goblin Haberdasher, Goblin Hatterfisser, that's hilarious, okay. Cog Mentor, Clever Combo, and Hangman is the rare. Along with the planes, alright, yeah, I forgot about these. Uh, I really like these, I had a whole bunch of mountains in my decks at the time. We've got a Deadly Poison Sampler, another rare, that's a contraption, Widget Contraption, and a cool squirrel token. Alright, Eldritch Moon. So what is what are we looking for in Eldritch Moon? I can't remember if Liliana was in this one. 
Uh, we have Choking Restraints, Boon of Emrakul. Ah, oh, maybe lots of Eldrazi. Certain Death, Swift Spinner, Cemetery Recruitment, Alchemist Greeting, Field Creeper, Spectral Reserves, Laboratory Brute, Whispers of Emrakul. You think Emrakul will ever come back from the moon? Let me know. Geist of the Lonely Vigil, Dusk, Feaster, and Emrakul's Evangel. Okay, so that's the rare. Along with Vilden Pack Outcast, this is one of these transforming cards. We have a Drone Pack Kindred, Eldrazi Werewolf, oh dear, and a Mountain and Zombie Token. Okay, BFZ hoping for an expedition here, although the chances are slim to none. Haven't pulled, I think we maybe, maybe pulled one on the channel previously. We have Dispel, Calestria Nightwatch, Earthen Arms, Merc Strider, Felidar Cub, Boiling Earth, Courier Griffin, Benthic Infiltrator, Tor Touch of the Void, Shadow Glider, Miraza Ranger for the Uncommons, Crumble to Dust, Adverse Conditions, and Brood Butcher, Eldrazi Drone, and a Marvelous Plains and Eldrazi Scion Token. Nothing from the Expeditions, unfortunately. Shadows over Innistrad. So do you reckon this is a better set than the latest Innistrad sets? Uh, I think they're probably about the same in my assessment. We have Unruly Mob, Silberlind Snapper, Vessel of Ephemera, Stallion of Ashmouth, Explosive Apparatus, Aim High, Vampire Noble, Voldaren Duelist, Broken Concentration, Forsaken Sanctuary, that's decent for the Uncommons, Biting Rain, and Devil's Playground for the Rare. We've got a Solitary Hunter, flips around into one of the pack, you knew that was coming. Stallion of Ashmouth. Is that a foil? Yeah, that's a foil. All right. And a forest and devil token. All right. On to the good stuff here. Let's see if we can get... What's the big hit in here? I think there's a Jace or... Is Imperial Recruiter in this one? I think that's probably dropped a bit in value though since this came out with the reprints. Okay, we have Ruthless Ripper, Trumpet Blast, Cloud Shift, Erg Raiders, Dragon's Eye Savants, Elvish Aberration, Death's Head Buzzard, Colossal Dreadmore, that's reprinted a million times, Skeletonize, Borrowing 100,000 Arrows, and Street Wraith, that's a solid pull, Crozan Tusker, Promise of Bunrai, and Luminarch Ascension, I have no idea, I think that's sort of bulky. Foil, Haunted Fengraf, Morph Token, and that is it. Alright, that was a bit of a bust. Avison Restored. Let's see something spicy here, please. Okay, we have Bloodflow Connoisseur. Fleeting Distraction, Uncanny Speed, Cathedral Sanctifier, Geist Snatch, Ghoul Flesh, Call to Serve, Mental Agony, Unhallowed Pact, Raging Poltergeist, Devout Chaplain for the Uncommons, Stone Rite, Defy Death, and Burn at the Stake. And a bit of an ad here, and an island. Okay, Modern Horizons, you need to save our butts here because the pools are pretty average today. So I think, okay, so this is back to front here. So we have a shapeshifter. We've got our art cards. So this was the first time they did the art cards. That is Headless Spectre. Okay, we've got a snow-covered plains and should be foil, rare, and then uncommon. So what we'll do is put things around like that. Hopefully I haven't messed up. Looking good so far. We've got Savage Swipe, Amorphous Axe, Nature's Chant, Winding Way, Unearth, Stirring Address, Scour All Possibilities, 
Viashino Sand Sprinter Enduring Sliver. Yes, slivers are back in the secret layers in case you haven't noticed. Alpine Guide. Talisman of Hierarchy. I think that one's decent. Igneous Elemental. Okay, I must have messed up a bit here. And a Cloud Shredder Sliver is the rare. Nice. Along with Cunning Evasion. Okay, I messed something up somewhere along the way. But still a sliver, not too shabby there. So let me know in the comments what you think about the Mystery MTG offerings. I think they're pretty solid. So the 9-pack option I think is 99 a month. So it comes down to about $11 a pack for that one. And then we have the Commander's Fury Crate. So you're looking at 120 there. Based on the value of the box and the packs alone, I think that was well worth it. I'd like to thank Mystery MTG once again for sponsoring a video. Much appreciated. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.